How's it going, guys and girls? Welcome back to Icarus XP. There's been a hot fix update, so I'm going to go for it like we always do. If you enjoy it, don't forget to leave a thumbs up if you like your hot fixes read out to you uh, while you're at work or whatever it is. But anyway, we're going to get straight into it. So, hot fix version 1.1.1.891, whatever. Latest hot fix came out today. This one has got more talent, mission performance, and miscellaneous fixes and improvements, and more gold. So that's good. All right, as usual, if you're experiencing crashes on load, use the verify game option that Steam provides. I'll show you at the end of this video how to do it. So let's get into it. Not mentioned in the notes below are several pieces of work happening in the background to address error 019 and 020 that are preventing people from resuming prospects on the affected characters. Uh, they're going to re-enable the debug remove character from prospects button until they've got a more permanent fix in place. Again, this is brilliant that they keep hot fixing it. But it's really starting to dawn, I think, on a lot of people that this game was not ready for release when it came out. But at least they are trying to rectify that by doing all these hot fixes. So, but yeah, I'm just getting that out there now. This, that's, that's, I think, how I personally feel. And I know a lot of you guys are feeling the same. But at least they're trying to fix it. Uh, it has to be enabled on their database. So the work's uh, timed to coincide with their database maintenance later in the week. So it'll be done then. Um, but anyway, let's go into what all the hot fixes are. Improved players will now more reliably be informed of mission completion upon returning to the hab. A dish added ability to change cosmetic character creation options whenever you're in the hab. That's cool. So you can now change your character cosmetics while you're in the hab. I mean, it's not like there's very much to choose from. Again, game doesn't quite feel finished. But, uh, you know, adding these things in is a good thing in the long run. They've changed MXC Campfire to no longer be extinguished by rain. That's really cool. Applied further optimizations to the scene to improve performance. Improved performance of creatures fur. All these performance things, guys, are going to help anybody that doesn't play on a top-end PC to be able to run this game better. So these are all good, okay? Improve some dependencies between parts of the game to improve and reduce memory use. Again, all optimizations. Remove some proto prototype feature work to improve and reduce memory usage. They fixed an issue with cave ore regions that meant gold balance changes from last update weren't correctly applied. Now they should be, hopefully. Fingers crossed. Fixed talents, fresh is best. Silent blade and green thumb, which were not working. Uh, they fixed an issue with like it with the lights off and night owl talents where they weren't working properly either. Fixed issues where it could snow inside buildings. There we go, leading to snow build-up. This, <laughs> if you were around on my stream yesterday, you'll have seen this. Uh, yeah, I was literally, I was about to make a video actually today telling you not to do certain things. And one of them uh, should now not need to be made because this should fix it. So no more snow inside buildings, guys. Fixing the issue where items can be duplicated in a multiplayer game. Fixed the issue where some UI elements can remain visible even after the items were released which they were relating to, were destroyed. Fix some instances of, uh, of issue causing players to arrive dead on the planet or have portions of their dropship missing, missing. I haven't seen that. If any of you have got that and you're in our Discord, send me a picture. I want to see half a dropship. Fixed issue where supporters edition locked outpost maps were available to everyone. Oh, what? Damn it. Now we've got to pay for it. Fixed issues where the additional arrows granted by twice the fun were possible to pick up. Fixed issue where the clients in a multiplayer game were sometimes left unable to harvest or otherwise interact with objects in the world. This has happened to me loads of times. So I'm glad that they fixed that one. They fixed some issues with the kill cam not working as intended. Yeah, because every single shot I make is a headshot damn kill cam, but sometimes it just doesn't do it. Fixed issues where the spray modifier was causing errors and or not working correctly. The suture kit not having the correct icons been fixed and the suture kit not being displayed correctly in the world has been fixed. They fixed an issue with deep vein extraction where some players would not be able to complete the final step. Fixed building pieces improved by talents will now retain their improved status once reloaded or once deconstructed. Fixed issue where shifting resources to your dropship using the control click would not complete the objective. Fixed the issue where uh, after recent back-end work where some characters lost their cosmetic and customization options Plus, now you can change them anyway, right? God, I'm talking so fast, I've got no breath. Fix the issue with printed MXC arrows, which would lead to... Oh, my God. I looked off the screen and come back, and now I can't read. <laughs> Fix the issue with printed MXC arrows, which would often prevent them from colliding with obstacles. 
Uh, they fixed an issue preventing players from using Comet Coal once on the planet. Players can purchase the Comet Coal set, which will need to be separated using the right-click menu before it can be used as a fuel source. Fixed issue where flint arrows were a valid ammo type for the hunting rifle. Man, issues like this are just fun, but I'm glad they're fixing them. Fixed issue with the radar display not uh, properly displaying percentage complete when loading back into a mission in progress. So as usual, if you find them, don't forget to go to icarus.featureupvote.com and let them know what's wrong with the game so that they can go and fix it. This is quite a big bug fix, if I'm honest. There's a lot in this. Um, and a lot of questions I've seen either on stream or also in the comments recently have been fixed by the looks of things in this in this hot fix. So let me know, guys, if you like it. If you do, if you want more Icarus content, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. More and more coming out every day as long as my computer ain't broke. And uh, yeah, I'll speak to you in the next video. Take care. Don't die by the bears. I'll see you soon.